Watch, slide the pen through and it turns invisible in the middle. One, two, three, and the ring goes right through. All I have to do is just touch the two pieces back together, watch. And it fuses. Look, think about your card. If the ends levitate in mid-air, look, the coin instantly starts spinning. Inside the book is a real, live, magic rabbit. Wow. Thank you to Jam City for sponsoring today's video. You can download Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery for free using the link below on your mobile device or tablet. I'm also hosting my own sweepstakes where I'm giving all the magic tricks in this video to five random people. So stay tuned to the end to find out how to win. In Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery, you can customize your own character, choose your house, and live out magical moments as a student at Hogwarts. My favorite house is Ravenclaw because I've always valued intelligence and love solving problems. Their house common room is also so cool. I can't believe we're finally able to see and explore it up close. When you download the game using my link below, let me know which house you choose and why. You can also master new spells and potions to use in classes, dueling other students, and to progress through the story. All my favorite characters from the movies are here. Dumbledore, McConaughey, Snape, Hagrid, the Weasley twins, Dobby, and all my favorite magical creatures from the Fantastic Beast films. There's also a large diverse cast of original characters to meet and become friends or rivals with, and even date. I was really excited to see the freedom you have to create a custom character that feels like you, with a wide range of outfits and hairstyles to unlock. You can even decorate and customize your own dorm room. But wait, there's also Quidditch. Play anytime as you unlock and learn each position, work your way up to captain, and progress in an exciting and unique storyline. One last thing, I'm doing a sweepstakes giving away all the magic tricks in this video to five lucky comments. Be sure to stay tuned to the end to find out how to win, and thanks again to Jam City for sponsoring during this video. Watch the match. I'll show you the secret right now. You're going to need some hand sanitizer and some matches. So you're gonna take a bit of alcohol-based hand sanitizer and you're just gonna put it on the stick of the match right below the head of it. Just a little bit right there. You don't want to do too much. And you're just gonna rub it around just like this. Once you have the match coated in the hand sanitizer, the alcohol gel is actually flammable. So we're going to take a lighter or something else, quickly light it off camera. It will continue to burn until it lights the head of the match just just like that. So the beauty of it is the flame that's coming off of the alcohol gel, the audience will not see. They will only see when the head of the match ignites because of the invisible flame. So I'm gonna have you pick any card from the deck. You can see they're all different cards. They're not all the same card or anything like that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're just gonna cut the cards anywhere you want. You know how to cut the cards? Grab a knife from over there. You just cut them, I'm kidding. Right over here, you just cut them in half, okay? Wherever you want, wherever you feel it. Right there, okay. So we're gonna put the rest of the cards on top. Do you know how many cards are in the deck? Mm -hmm. It's 52, if you guys mm -hmm. didn't know at home. So you could have cut anywhere. Go ahead and take a look at the cards you cut to right there. Go ahead and show the camera as well. This one? Yep, go ahead and show them. Perfect, get that card locked into your mind. You got it locked in there? Go ahead and put it back anywhere in the deck as I dribble through like that, perfect. Okay, now it's completely lost in there, right? Mm -hmm. There's no way I could know what it is. So, what we're gonna do is try to find your card in a bit of a weird way, okay? okay? So I have my coffee here from earlier, some leftover coffee from Starbucks, right? So you can see my cup of coffee, watch. All I do is take a little bit of creamer here, so we pop the top off, look. When I pour this in, look at the front of the cup, look. Think about your card. Is that it? Yeah. How did you do that? The Ace of Hearts. This is the perfect way to reveal anything. So all you need is a clear plastic cup and a marker and some coffee. All you have to do is write whatever you want to reveal on the cup. Then you can hide whatever you wrote using the black coffee. Now because the coffee is black and the marker is black, it's going to hide whatever you wrote on the cup. So you can do a card force like I did. You can force a number on somebody. And then as soon as you add some milk or creamer, watch what happens. The phrase is instant revealed in the cup. Can you see what it says? Super easy reveal that anyone can do. Try it out at home. Check it out. I have a normal piece of string. Watch this. If the ends 
levitate in mid-air just like that. This thing is so cool. This is called the loop lasso. Look at that. This is just a normal string just floating in mid-air. The reason it's floating in mid-air like this and kind of defying gravity is because of the centrifugal force that is caused by the loop of strings spinning around. There's a tiny motor inside this little handle right here. Once you have it turned on, you can manipulate the string in a lot of different cool ways. It feels really cool to just run it over your finger like this and you can create these really cool waves and ripples in the string. Whoa! Okay, check this out. This is the Torn and Restored card trick. So I have a Torn playing card here. You can see, watch, all I have to do is just touch the two pieces back together, watch. And it fuses back together just like that. Stay tuned for the secret coming up next. The first and only thing you need for this trick is a playing card. You're gonna take any playing card from the deck and fold it into quarters. You're gonna fold it hamburger style, just like this, and then hot dog style, just like this. Once you have the folds made, you're going to tear the card right here along this crease, but only to the middle. You don't wanna go further than the middle. You wanna create this right here. Now you wanna fold the card into this position, just like this. And now I will show you an exposed view of how to perform the trick. What you're gonna do is hold the card just like this and when you touch it together you're going to fold this flap down and now you are in the perfect position to make it look like the card has just instantly healed this is the world's most magical coin bank so you take any coin put it down inside and watch what happens watch on the little platform right there one two three look the coin instantly starts spinning on the platform This is all thanks to the ingenious design of this little coin bank. You can see in the top of the lid, there's a couple little metal tabs. They're angled on either side so that when you push a coin through, it automatically spins the coin as it drops onto the little platform. And as you can see, the little platform is kind of a concave shape and that helps the coin to spin as well. This definitely seems like the type of coin bank that Harry Potter would have, right? This is my magic book of happiness. So check it out. It's just a normal book. If I open it up, you can see the first page. It just says the book of happiness and it's got a bunch of different text in there, but it doesn't really matter. What the cool part is, is when I wave over the book and I snap, look what happens. If I open it up, watch. Look. Inside the book is a real, live, magic rabbit. Hey buddy. It just came to life from the pages of the book characters just jump off the page. This is called the invisible zone. Check this out. You open it up and it's got a little window right here in the middle. So what happens is anything that passes through the invisible zone turns invisible. So watch, I take my pen and I slide it into the invisible zone and look, it immediately disappears in the middle just like that. You can see the pen is now completely invisible in the invisible zone. But just as quickly as it turns invisible, watch, I can actually remove the pen and look. This is one of our new products that we have available in our magic shop. This is called the invisible zone. It is a super easy magic trick. All you do is slide the pen into the invisible zone and you can see it turns completely invisible in the middle. It comes with everything you need. The secret is found in the pen. You can see it splits apart just like this. So we can create the illusion of the pen sliding into something just like that, but it's actually just this little clip that is able to slide back and forth. So it looks like I'm sliding the pen into my hand, actually just concealed under this hand. Same principle with sliding it into the invisible zone. It's not actually going into the invisible zone. It just looks like the pen is going into it. So you insert the pen like this, slide this down, and that little clip is going to contact a switch inside the invisible zone. So as you slide the clip up, it presses the little switch inside, and it looks like the pen just slides out the other side of the invisible zone just like that. It's a very convincing illusion. It really looks like the pen is just sliding in and out of the invisible zone and somehow just disappearing in the middle right here. So you slide it out just like this and now you can show the pen completely normal. All right, it is bonus trick time. I have a ring and a string. Watch one, two, three, and the ring goes right through the string just like 
that. I will teach you how to do this trick right now. It doesn't get much more simple than this. All you need is a metal ring and a piece of string or rope. Super DIY. You take the ring, the string goes right through the middle. You're going to hold it just like this. You're going to pinch the string with this hand. You're going to be holding the ring at these fingers just like this. And this rope is going to kind of tuck into your hand like this because you want to kind of create the illusion that the string is just draped across your hand just like this. From the front view, it should really look like this string is just kind of draped across your hand and you're hiding that it's going through the ring already with your thumb. So that is pretty much the whole illusion. You're gonna hide that from the audience, and then when you're ready, you're just gonna drop this ring down, and it's gonna look like it instantly penetrates through the string. Such an amazing and easy trick. You can even have the audience pull on this to show that there's no tricky bits with the rope or anything like that. Super easy and prompt trick. You can hand everything out to the audience for examination. And that is the bonus trick for this episode of How To Magic. Thanks for watching this episode of How To Magic. If you liked it, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and share it with someone you think might like it too. Leave me a comment down below and let me know which trick was your favorite. If you are new to our videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel. All right, it is giveaway time. I am giving away all the magic props from this video. If you saw any of the magic tricks in the video and you want to win any of them, all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section down below. I'll be going through the comment section, picking out random winners and mailing the magic out to you. And until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.